Hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome everyone to day eight of Get Your Group Back in God. I need a favor today before we start. Can you please pray for me? I need you to please pray for me. Whatever comes to your heart, can you just pray for me today? Just pray for me for like one minute. If you please, please, please just pray for me for like one minute before we go into today's prayer session. Maleko so to le brianda li kasata yada bo shakaru zo to lende de boshta. Mako so to le brianda ba kasata lende de bosh. Leko so to le brianda ba kasoto li yanda da boshta. Mako so to le brianda bra kasata lende de 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 bosh. Mako so to le brianda le kasata ya ba 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 ba. Leko so to le bro do bosh shakaru zanta ma ye karu zata. Le de 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 koso to le brayada ba shanta le koso to le ka i koso to le brayanda le kara bo shakaru zata ya ba 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 ma le koso to le brayada kaso to le yanda la boksha ma koso to le brayada ba kasa ta le kasa ta ya le branda le kara bo shakaru zata ya ba 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 ma so to le koso to le brayada bo shakaru zata ya ba thank you mighty God thank you oh God for your strength that comes from within. I thank you, O oh God, for your grace, for your strength that comes from within, for the joy of the Lord that comes upon us today as we pray. Thank you, mighty God, for the strength that are open in the spirit to pour afresh upon us today. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you for praying for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Okay, today is day eight and we are going to be praying. Remember... Uh, even number of days we just pray throughout. So we're going to be praying today. And we and, the, and what the Holy Spirit laid upon my heart was um, that we should pray um, about joy. Joy, joy, joy. For a lot of us, I know that we uh, yesterday and on day five, we looked at the things that are stopping us from praying. And some of them internal, some of them external. Some of them we cannot even share with anybody. For some people, it's discouragement, um, you know. It is just like I've been on this mountain for too long. Nothing seems to be progressing in my life. Nothing seems to be moving forward. I have all these numerous unanswered prayers. I feel like giving up. I'm tired. I don't want to do this anymore. That is some people. That's some of us. And some of us are in that category. And, and God is saying, and you know, we're just going to be praying about our joy. Because one, one, one of the greatest tactics of the enemy is to steal your joy. Because he knows that when he takes your joy, everything else becomes a chore for you, right? Like you don't want to do anything. So what he does is he attacks your joy. He does whatever he can to attack your joy. He's, um, you know, constantly trying to make you feel like God is no longer good, right? He's constantly making, making you to feel like God is not good. Um, you know, he, he does everything he does, the attack on your finances, the attack on your marriage, the attack on your children, the attack on you, on your health is not because he just wants to attack you. The enemy has one goal in mind, and his goal is to make you feel like God is not good any longer. He attacks you and makes you feel like God isn't good. You know, he's not answering my prayers. I don't know what is going on. My life is not moving ahead. And that is what the enemy tries to do when he, when he attacks you, right? So we're going to be praying today, and I want to share with you, um, you know, from the story of the woman, the Shunammite woman. A lot of us, I don't know if, if you're familiar with who that is in the Bible, but if you're not, I'm just going to read that scripture to us. It's in 2 Kings chapter 4. 2 Kings chapter 4, and I will read from verse 18. The Bible says, and the child grew. I don't know if you, the background of this story is that this woman didn't have a child for a long time. Now the prophet comes and the prophet says to her, you're going to have a child. And she has this child. And then this is fast forward into the future. The child grew. Now it happened one day that he went out to his father to the reapers. And he said to his father, my head, my head. So he said to his servant, carry him to his mother. When he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on his on her knees till noon and then died. Like from where to where? My head, my head, headache, headache. And then next thing the child is dead. And then she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God. At this time in her house, she had made a room for the man of God that anytime the man of God is passing through, the man of God will have a place to stay. So she had a room for the man of God. And she carries her son, puts the son on the bed, shuts the door on this dead son. I'm like, first of all, I've already been in a state. Like, if I'm the one, 
I will be in a state. I will probably be crying, shouting, hey, oh, somebody help me. You know, that kind of thing. The Bible says that she just went, put the boy on the, on the bed, shut the door on him, and she went out. She called to her husband and said, please send me one of the young men and one of the donkeys that I may run to the man of God and come back. I mean, just imagine what that is, right? What, I mean, just imagine, just imagine that that is what is going on right now. And then she, she says, the Bible says that she just told her husband, I want to go to the man of God. And her husband says to her, okay, you want to go to the man of God. What is going on? Like, is it, is neither the new moon or the Sabbath. Like there's no reason for you. There's no normal regular reason for you to go to the man of God. And she said to her husband, it is well, ladies, I don't know if you are me. <laughs> like you just lost a child here, people. And then, this is what is going on. And she said, it is well. I will tell my husband, it is when I just lost a child. Who does that? Then she saluted the donkey, said to her servant, drive, you know, drive fast. Let's get to the man of God. She saw the man of God from afar. And then he said to his servant, man of God saw her from afar. And he said to his servant, go and look at that Shunammite woman. Please run now to meet her and say to her, is he well with you? Is he well with your husband? Is it well with your child? And she answered again, it is well. Like, I have no business with you guys. I have no business with the problem that is facing me right now. I have no business with the servant of the man of God. The person I have business with is God himself. And then she goes and she went and caught the man of God by the feet. And, and she was probably at this time like in a state. And it, the servant was trying to push her away. And the man of God said, leave her alone for her soul is in deep distress and the Lord has hidden it from me and has not told me. That is a lot of us at this point. Some of us are overwhelmed in our hearts, in our souls. We are not just in a good place. And God has called us to him today. God has called us to him today. And God is saying to you, I will carry you. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Don't let the enemy take the only thing you have left. Like he's taking your money already. He's attacked you. He's attacked your health. He's attacked what is, everything around you. Don't let him take this joy. Don't let him take your peace of mind. Don't let him take your sanity. We're going to start to pray today. Lord, I thank you for your word to me today. I thank you for your word to me today. And I declare, oh God, that I am strengthened in my soul. I'm strengthened in my soul. The devil will not take my joy. The devil will not take my, my peace of mind in the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare that I'm strengthened in my soul. I'm empowered for any situation that may come my way. Lord, even though my heart may be in distress at this point in my life, I declare Jehovah that I will refuse to allow the enemy to steal my joy in the name of Jesus. I'm strengthened in my soul from within me, from within me, from within me. I'm strong and I'm courageous to face any situation that the enemy may want to bring my way. The enemy will not steal my joy. The joy of the Lord remains my strength in the name of Jesus. If your heart is overwhelmed today, I want you to declare and say, no, I will not be overwhelmed. The enemy will not steal my joy. I choose to be strong in my heart. I choose to be strong in my soul. The Lord strengthens me in the name of Jesus. I am refreshed from the presence of God with boldness, with courage to keep pressing on in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come before you today and we receive your strength. Together, together as your daughters, oh God, we come together before you today and we say, Lord, your strength is made available unto us in the name of Jesus. We receive your strength from your presence, oh God. Whatever circumstance we are going through, whatever situation is overwhelming us, oh God, we will not give in. We will not give up. We press onward and forward in the name of Jesus because the Bible says, in the book of Psalm chapter 4 verse 7, that you have put gladness in our heart more than when our grain and our wine are bound. Meaning even when we don't have what we need, be beyond our grain and our new wine are abounding, you put gladness in our heart. Lord, we receive your gladness. The stream of gladness begins to flow over us today. The stream of joy, the stream of gladness begins to flow over our hearts today. 
in the name of Jesus. Maleko soto le brayanda na bo shatayaba. Leko soto le brayada ba kasanta le de bo shanta. Leko soto le brayadi kasuto le de bo shanta. You have put gladness in our hearts, O oh God, even more than when our grain and our new wine abound. In the name of Jesus. Leko soto le brayanda la bo shata. Maleko soto le brayadi kasata yende de bo shata. Maleko soto le brayada da da da. Your gladness flows in our hearts. Heart, oh God, your joy, your joy, your joy, your joy, your joy, your joy, your waters of joy, your streams of joy, your streams of gladness begin to flow in our hearts today in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Habakkuk chapter 3, Habakkuk chapter 3, the Bible says, even though the, the fig tree does not blossom and there are no grapes on the vines, even if the olive harvest fails and the fields produce nothing edible, even if the flock is snatched from the sheepfold and there is no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. Let that be your let that be your your, your confession today. Say, Lord, even when I don't understand what is going on, even when I don't see you, I know that you're working on my behalf. Lord, I declare that even when I don't see what it, what is going on around me, even when it is negative, even when it looks like nothing is happening, oh God, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. In the name of Jesus, I will rejoice. I will rejoice. Yes, 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 yes. I choose your joy. I choose gladness. Let it pour upon me today, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, let it pour upon me today, O oh God. Maleko so tole da bo shanta. Thank you because your joy overflows into our hearts, O oh God. Even though the fig tree does not blow some, even though we don't see what we, what we think we should see, even though we don't see answers to what we think we should get, O oh God, we declare today that we will rejoice in the Lord, we'll be joyful in the God of our salvation. Yes, 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 thank you, O oh God. We'll rejoice in you. We'll be joyful in you, O oh God. You are our strength. You are our song. You have become our salvation. You are our God. Yes, we we'll praise you. We praise you. We we praise you. We praise you today. We we'll lift up our voices together and we declare that you are strength. You are our song, oh God. You are our salvation. You are our salvation, oh God. We refuse to give in to despair. We refuse to give in to discouragement, to, to disillusionment, oh God. We refuse to give in to the enemy's tactics and we declare today that you are our strength. You are our joy. You fill our heart with gladness. In the name of Jesus, you fill our hearts with gladness, oh God. Yes, 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 yes. So oh, we, we receive your gladness. We receive your gladness. Your gladness overflows upon us today. In the name of Jesus. Don't let, your, don't, don't let the enemies to your joy today. Yes. Yes, 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 we receive the joy that comes from your presence. You make us glad with joy from your presence. Today, oh God, we declare that with joy, with joy, with joy, we are drawing from the wells of salvation. With joy, we are drawing from the wells of salvation. In the name of Jesus. Maleko sotole brayanda da boshanta. Maleko sotole brayanda da 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 ba. Leko sotole brayanda likasa tayaba. We draw. We draw, we draw from you, O oh God. Yes, yes, yes. We've come to draw from you again today. We draw joy from your presence. We draw gladness from your presence, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we've come to draw, 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 draw from you again. Yeah, yeah. And we've come to draw. We've come to draw, 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 draw from you again, yeah, and yes, Lord, we've come to draw, we've come to draw, 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 draw from you again, Lord, we've come to draw, we've come to draw, 
We've come to draw. We've come to draw. We come before you today, O oh God, with all our overwhelm. We've come to draw. We've come to draw joy. We've come to draw gladness. We've come to draw strength from your presence today, O oh God. We've come to draw. We've come to draw. Draw, draw, draw from you again. The Lord is pouring out afresh upon us today his spirit of joy, spirit of gladness. In the name of Jesus, we've come to receive from you, O God, your joy, your gladness. No longer will the enemy hold us to ransom with, with, with sadness, with overwhelm, with despair, with, with discouragement. But from today, we step into your joy. We step into your joy. We will not be overwhelmed. In the name of Jesus, we step into your joy. Because we know that a joyful heart is good medicine. A joyful heart is good medicine. Yes, yes, yes. We receive a joyful spirit before you today. In the name of Jesus, we declare today, O oh God, that our joy is full. Our joy is full. I don't know if there's anybody on this call that is feeling guilty. Because you feel like you've made mistakes in the past and maybe it's your mistakes that are haunting you now. I want you to know that the Bible says God's anger is for is but for a moment and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. If that is you, I want you to receive that joy. I want you to receive that joy. The guilt that the enemy has placed on you before today is gone. I want you to drop that guilt at the, at the feet of Jesus today because his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Joy is here. 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 The Lord our God is in our, in our midst. He's in our midst, in the midst of his people today. He will save us. He will rejoice over us with gladness. Yes, he's quieting us by, with his love today. In the name of Jesus, I want you to receive that joy. I want you to receive that joy today. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Embrace the joy of the Lord. It doesn't mean that everything is now perfect. No, but joy is a choice. Say, I receive the joy of the Lord. I choose to stay in joy. I choose to stay in joy. Joy gives strength. I, I choose to stay in joy. I refuse to allow the enemy to... To press my head down, to cause my head to be bowed down in shame, in guilt, in the name of Jesus. I receive the joy of the Lord. Joy is here. Joy is here. Joy is here. Because the Bible says that when the, when the cares of your heart are many, when the cares of my heart are many, the consolation of the Almighty cheers our soul. Yes, receive the joy of the Lord. Receive the joy of the Lord. Because the plans of the Lord for you, they are good plans. They are plans that are good. They, they make the future bright. Yes, the plans of the Lord for us are good. They are good. They give us a future and a hope. Embrace the joy of the Lord today because his plans for you are plans of good and not of evil to bring you to that expected end. Receive the joy. Receive the joy of the Lord today. Let the joy of the Lord begin to flow over you. Let it flow. 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 Let it flow over you today in the name of Jesus. Let it flow over you today. Lord, we receive your joy. We receive your joy. Maleko sotole brayanda we rejoice before you today. We rejoice before you today, O oh God. We draw from your presence in the name of Jesus. We draw from your presence, O oh God. We draw joy. We draw gladness. Yes, yes, we draw gladness. We draw joy with you from you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I don't know what is troubling you today, but I want you to bring it before the Lord and say, Lord, I submit all my troubles and all my worries before you today. I submit them and I bring them to you today. I leave them at your feet. And I say, Lord, I, I submit all my worries, all my anxieties, anything that is causing me to be overwhelmed, that is causing me to be sorrowful, that is causing me to be afraid. I bring them before you today. And I say, Lord, take over. Take over, Lord. I submit them before you. I say, Lord, act on my behalf because without you, I can even do nothing. What can I even do in my own strength? 
I submit them to you today and I say, Lord, because your Bible says that we should ask that we may receive so that our joy may be full. Today we bring all our requests before you and we declare in the name of Jesus Christ that our joy is full. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare that our joy is full. I bring before you today favor, Basharu, and, and I declare that our joy is full. I bring before you today Josephine Adiyashu, and I declare that our joy is full. I bring before you Dorothy Ogulano, and I say her joy is full. I declare concerning you today, concerning Mama, I say her joy is full. I pray for Okpolua Taylor, I say her joy is full. I pray for Foluke, I say your joy is full. I pray for you, Adini Keodewale, I say your joy is full. I pray for you, Naomi, I say your joy is full. I pray for you, Julie, your joy is full. I pray for you, Habiba, I say your joy is full. I declare, continue you, Chica, your joy is full. I pray for you, Ifi, your joy is full. I pray for you, Fumi Adeyemi, your joy is full. I pray for you, Adebukola, Osatui, your joy is full. I pray for you, Eniola, your joy is full. I pray for you, Funke, your joy is full. I pray for you, TP, your joy is full. I declare concerning you, Bukola, that, that your joy is full. I pray for you, Omolala, Yeni, your joy is full. I pray, for, I pray for you today, Aneda, I say your joy is full. I pray for you, Toke, your joy is full. I pray for you, Tola Lawa, your joy is full. I pray for you, Modupe, your joy is full. I pray for you, Grace, that your joy is full. I pray for you today. I declare your joy is full. I pray for you, Grace, your joy is full. I pray for you, T, that your joy is full. I pray for you, allow me there, I declare that your joy is full. I pray for you, Mary, your joy is full. I pray for you, you one day, your joy is full. I pray for you, almost say for your joy is full. I pray for you, Fumlala, I declare your joy is full. I pray for you, Olua Tosin, your joy is full. I declare concerning you, joy, that your joy is full. I pray for you, Adebukola Deni, your joy is full. I pray for you, Temi, your joy is full. I pray for you, Isioma, your joy is full. I pray for you, Remy, your joy is full. I pray for you, Stella, your joy is full. I pray for you, Bukola Lukmono, your joy is full. I pray for you, whoever is on the galaxy S10, your joy is full. I pray for you, Folu, that your joy is full. Your joy is full. Your joy is full. Your joy is full. I want you to go begin to declare and say, my joy is full. The enemy cannot steal my joy. I choose to walk in victory today. I walk in victory. Nothing can steal my joy. Nothing can take away my joy. We receive your joy today, O oh God. We receive your joy today, O oh God, in the name of of Jesus. Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for your joy that is poured out upon us today. Father, we thank you because your joy is beginning to overflow in our hearts. Nothing the enemy can do will stop us from rejoicing before you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you glory because from now, oh God, our hearts begin to bubble up with joy, with joy, with gladness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, awesome Father. In Jesus' name, we are afraid. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the enemy wants to try, you just say to him, not today. Not today, devil. Mm -mm. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. We refuse to stay in overwhelm in the name of Jesus. But we're going to take together now our... Prayer confessions. I'm going to take our prayer confessions together. Now, if you have the book, please bring it out. If you do not have the book, um, just follow us as we pray together. Um, John 7, 38, the Bible says, Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living waters. Dear Lord, I thank you for my journey into intimacy with you. Thank you, Father. For the work of refreshing, rekindling, and renewal that you are doing in my life. I declare that I'm, I'm no longer complacent about my prayer time and my relationship with you. My prayer altar has received fresh fire from heaven. A fresh fire is resting upon my spirit in the name of Jesus. I am rekindled in my spirit. And my passion for prayer is reignited. 
prayer person comes upon me and I pray ceaselessly. I am a warrior and I war until I win every battle of my life. I am a prayer warrior. I wage war for my destiny in the place of prayer. I will not slack in the work that the Lord has placed in my hands. I tarry in prayer until I begin to see a manifestation of the promises of God for my life, for my home, for my business, for my career, for my ministry, in the name of Jesus. I'm a woman of God, totally and completely sold out to him and to his counsel in the name of Jesus. I declare that I'm unstoppable. I go from grace to grace in my walk with God. I go from grace to grace in my walk with God. I am going deeper and higher every day. I thank you, Lord Jesus, because I have seen answers as I have spoken in your ears in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. We give you glory, O oh God. Let us begin to appreciate the King of Kings today. Say, Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Just begin to break into praises wherever you are and begin to dance in his presence. Lord, we bless your name. We thank you. Thank you, O oh God. We give you glory. We give you praise for what you've done in our hearts today. We thank you for the work you've done in our lives today, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for the joy that envelopes our heart and does not let us go. We thank you because when the enemy brings his challenges our way, when the enemy wants to bring overwhelm our way, disappointment, despair, disillusionment, we thank you because from today we embrace your joy and we choose joy every single day of our lives. Thank you, mighty God. We give you glory. We give you praise because your joy overflows in our heart and we step into your joy and we embrace your joy, O oh God. Nothing can steal our joy. We give you glory. We give you praise. Thank you, awesome Father. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, everyone, for joining today's prayers. And I trust that the Lord himself has already, you know, he's already doing a work in your heart. Don't let the enemy steal your joy. Don't let the devil stop you from stepping into the fullness of God's um, promises for your life. What happens is that when the enemy wants to attack you and all of that, and he takes your joy away, you don't even have the strength to pray. And where do you get um, strength again to keep going on in the place of prayer? So it's like a continuous cycle, right? It takes, it takes, it still seals your joy. You are tired. You don't pray, so you don't get strength from God's presence, and then you you, you start to stay in despair. So I want you to just take take back the, the control from the enemy. Say no, not today, devil. I choose the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, everyone, for joining today's prayer. We'll see you tomorrow for day nine. If you have not yet invited all your friends to join in, please do so. Let us um, let us invite them, bring them on, so that we can all be praying together. And we're going to be looking at strategies to deal with limiting factors. What can I do to deal with these limiting factors that have stopped me from praying before now? Practical things that I can I can do to stop, uh, you know, to help me become more consistent about prayer. And I'll see you all tomorrow. God bless you all for joining today. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. Enjoy your day. Bye, everyone. God bless you.